Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph, just in case you are new here, and today we are doing a grocery haul. Good old favorite grocery haul. <laughs> so we did another monthly grocery haul this time, like we did last time, which I'll link up above, but we were not able to go to Costco today because of lockdown. It's way outside our radius, but we didn't really need that many things from Costco, so it was okay. So we went to Aldi, Woolworths, and Coles today. I'm just doing everything all mixed in because it's way easier than dividing it up like I did last time. So without further ado, let's get into it. I have taken a leaf out of my friend Kendra's book and tried to kind of categorize things. So we'll start over here with the non-food related items. We've got tissues. How cute are these little tissue boxes from Coles? I love the pattern on them. We were out of baking paper. Aldi had some tea towels and I'm quite fussy with tea towels. But these ones are really nice as far as the fabric goes and they're quite autumnal colors <laughs> and I've been looking for something like that for a while because I'm trying to get a little more seasonal with the colors in our home so that was great because we need new tea towels I've got some body wash this one smelled good so that's what we got um, some laundry liquid which also smelled really good what I really appreciated is this is the new Woolworths like natural line and it's a little bit cheaper than eco store seems to be quite similar but the laundry liquid and the laundry powder are both the same price for the same amount of washes which makes it really easy to pick you can kind of just go i want liquid i'm getting liquid <laughs> and then we got some more of this dishwashing liquid we got this in our last haul and it's been really really good so i can definitely recommend this it's only four dollars which is pretty good for something with natural fragrance we got some toothpaste just the normal stuff we got some paracetamol and ibuprofen just because we're out we got some new toothbrushes some gloves oh and some eye makeup remover which happened to be on special this is totally greenwashing i reckon it's probably not great as far as ingredients go could be worse it doesn't seem to have any fragrance in it but eye makeup remover i've yet to find a good natural option so I'll keep you posted if I do. <laughs> Moving on to all the meat. <laughs> so this pile here is beef mince or ground beef. This pile here is chicken breast and chicken breast mince. Back here we have basically casserole meat or stew meat, whatever you want to call it. So we've got some lamb and some beef. And then we've got some beef sausages and beef meatballs. These are really good for not having any random unnecessary ingredients. No weird oils, no weird preservatives. Love it. And then we've got some, uh, this is ham and this one here is roast beef just for snacking. We've got some steak. There's obviously two there, one each. We've got some stir fried beef and Matt really wanted corned beef or silver side so I grabbed one of those. I've never actually cooked this myself but he really wanted it so I will figure it out. <laughs> and then next we've got kind of the refrigerated stuff I'd say so we've got some shredded cheese, some feta. This is going to be making a broccoli pesto pasta thing that we'll have with some chicken. We've got some butter, some Jarlsberg cheese just for snacking, some hummus for Matt, a little protein yogurt because I wanted to give it a go. Some cream for Swedish meatballs and iced chocolate because I just had a craving, so why not? <laughs> some orange juice, some plain Greek yogurt, high protein yogurt. And now we are onto the produce. Look at all this produce. I feel like we fluctuate and some months we buy a lot of produce and the next month we're still eating it up. <laughs> well, we've got some frozen strawberries back there, lots of carrots, <laughs> some onions, sweet potato, organic apples. As far as what to buy organic and what not to buy, I very much pay attention to the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15 
and just try and stick to that as much as I can. The number one produce item on the top of the Dirty Dozen list is actually strawberries, but I cannot find them organic. This is a bit of a treat, and I managed to find a really big tub too, which is good, so it's 500 grams. But apples is on the list, so on the Dirty Dozen list. So we got the organic ones, a bunch of bananas, some potatoes. This doesn't technically count as produce, but you know, it's got potato in it. <laughs> some chips just in case we want, <laughs> just in case we want some junk food. Some frozen zucchini, just diced zucchini. I love that they do these because we don't use a ton of zucchini, but it's always nice to bulk up a soup or something like that got some green beans they were on sale which was great some mandarins I already said the sweet potato and I think that's it for the produce so far I honestly feel like this was quite a small grocery haul to be honest I mean the fact that we managed to fit it all in is kind of crazy but I'm trying to I don't know try something different as far as like meal planning and stuff goes but if you want to see what meals I'm making with all of this definitely go and follow me on Instagram because I have started posting meal plan Mondays and sharing the meals that I've got planned for the week and you will see what I'm making with all of this <laughs> okay on to the pantry stuff and then we're done which is crazy uh, and the random random um pastry that's not it doesn't really fit in any of the other categories <laughs> okay so we've got some bread crumbs back there because i'm going to make meatloaf we have some olive oil two packs of quick oats some tuna for sparky who is our cat if you aren't aware some coffee for matt some cacao powder i love this in smoothies i don't buy cocoa powder anymore we just use cacao some organic ketchup because tomatoes are on that list the dirty dozen list and i saw this and it was actually quite reasonably priced previously they've just had little like artisanal bottles of it but they have this one so i figured i'd give it a go i've got some crackers to have with cheese and then matt's got crackers for his hummus we've got some muesli bars that are kind of a bit of a treat slash a lazy snack if we are going out somewhere and we need to put something in our bags. They're quite good though. And I'm not usually a fan of muesli bars. And then we've got <laughs> these barbecue rice crackers. We happened to just walk past them and Matt was like, I used to love those, I'm gonna get some. So he did. Um, I found this. Guys, what are you doing? I found this when we were looking for steak seasoning, which is just over there. And I love the lemon and herb Nando's chicken. I didn't look too closely at the ingredients, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. But I'm trying to get better at marinating chicken. Again, the inspiration is Kendra. If you don't subscribe to Kendra's channel, you should definitely go and subscribe because she does great grocery hauls and is just always cooking something that seems delicious. <laughs> Okay, these are the little condimenty type things, I guess. <laughs> so we've got some chicken stock that is just the chicken stock that we always buy. Um, we are always running out of this stuff. I got some pesto for that pasta that I mentioned. And I was looking at the ingredients for this and trying to steer clear of too much sunflower oil. And this one was the only one that didn't have sunflower oil as the first ingredient so that's the one we went with because progress not perfection <laughs> we got some dijon mustard we only grabbed the organic one because it was on sale and it was the same price as the non-organic one we got some steak seasoning for the steak and because i am trying to incorporate more different kinds of meat i've been quite boring i think with my meat options and some paprika a box of chai lattes i had the normal box this past month and i think i'm almost out so i only the, the whole box will last me a month but i figured i would try the spiced one then we've got some organic corn chips because we've got a bit of chili in the freezer so it's 
good to have the corn chips in case we need to eat out of the freezer. Two bags of mixed chips. These make me cringe, but Matt likes them, so we get them for Matt. Um, we've got a cooked rotisserie chicken. Um, that's dinner tonight. We always try and have a pretty easy but still healthy dinner when we've been grocery shopping all day. The puff pastry, as I mentioned, I'm just now realizing it's only three sheets, but that's okay. Um, I didn't realize that most puff pastry, even though it tastes all buttery and delicious, is only is usually made with margarine and not actual butter. So we sprung for the butter version. And then the usual lots of almond milk. <laughs> so this is everything. There you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, I would love it if you would consider giving it a thumbs up because it really helps to support my channel and show the video to other people that might want to watch it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below so that you will get notified of my new videos, especially if you turn on your bell notifications. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.